Good evening students. Today we will be doing the cation analysis for group 3. The cations belonging to group 3 are ferric and aluminium. The procedure followed is beginning from the OS. OS or WE. What do they stand for? OS is original solution that is salt and water. And the other way of calling the OS or the original solution is water extract, which is also a pinch of salt dissolved in 1 to 2 ml of water. Once you take the water extract to this, you need to add 1 to 2 drops concentrated nitric acid, which will convert ferrous if given to ferric. Because we are going to test for ferric which is easier to precipitate in comparison to ferrous salts. And nitric acid is a good oxidizing agent. The second thing that you need to add is ammonium chloride pinch and you will always shake it to dissolve. Followed by ammonium hydroxide in excess the solution so that the medium becomes basic. So virtually these are the two things that act as the group reagent for group 3 of cation analysis. You need to add ammonium chloride solid followed by ammonium hydroxide excess to make it basic. In case of addition of nitric acid which is only applicable to convert ferrous to ferric this would only be for a colored salt. In case of the cations, only if you have ferrous or ferric, then the salt would be colored. And if the salt is colored, you need to follow the first step, otherwise you may not. For white salts, you can skip the first step. After the addition of these three things, you would end up with a PPT. And that would confirm the presence of group 3 cations. The PPT could either be jelly-like white, which would be aluminium hydroxide's PPT, or it would be reddish brown, which would be ferric hydroxide. Under both the situations, the further method is add dilute HCl. The PPT dissolves. It is understandable that it would lead to the formation of aluminium chloride aqueous. After this, you need to add 1 to 2 drops litmus solution. Any. It could be red, it could be blue. But whichever you add, the color would change to red. The reason is addition of dilute HCl prior to the addition of the litmus solution. After this, you can start adding ammonium hydroxide aqueous solution drop wise. Slow addition would lead to the red color of the litmus to change to blue. That's not the test. That is merely showing the transformation of the acidic medium to basic medium. But the test is, in the basic medium, it would lead to the formation of aluminium hydroxide back. So your test tube would have a solution which is changing from red to blue and leading to the formation of aluminium hydroxide back which absorbs this blue color. Hence you will end up in flaky PPTs having blue colored absorbed on it. This flaky PPT having blue colored absorbed on it is the lake test. Now for the iron, the reddish brown PPT that you get, you add dilute HCl to it. The PPT again dissolves. Of course that is understandable, lead to the formation of the ferric chloride aqueous solution. After the PPT dissolves, divide it into two parts. On dividing into two parts, to the first part add KCNS aqueous, potassium thiocyanide. This will give you a blood 
red coloration. The PPT, the coloration of course would have a formula of iron valency 3, CNS valency 1. So the formula of the blood red coloration becomes this. To the second part add potassium ferrocyanide solution. You will end up in a deep blue or Prussian blue coloration confirming the presence of iron. And the formula for this would be iron with valency 3, ferrocyanide has a valency of 4 which is clear from here, valency 4, valency 3 for iron, 4 for ferrocyanide leads to the final formula being this. Thank you.